So in my mind, BIM is the collation of information and the development of information throughout a project, uh, with the outcome being that clients get the exact information that they require at the end of a project to be able to use that asset as they need. It's really to do with sort of uh, managing the information um, from the beginning of a project through its design and also through the, um, the facilities management element of it. However, I think also it's about an opportunity for the industry to improve our productivity. Um, we're bottom of the pile at the moment in terms of all the industries uh, and we have a huge impact that we can make in terms of the homes, the spaces, the schools, etc. that we produce for um, everyone um, in, the, in the cities, for example. What it's been for me is essentially it's uh, my day job, so it's uh, a process of educating and informing my clients in how they can deliver information better and how they can control information uh, in both task and deliverable formats to have a well-rounded project that finishes with a set of data they can use, audit and replicate on their next project. For me, BIM, as a business owner, it's about um, information management in our organisation and other parties that we interact with. It's about collecting all of that information and managing it efficiently on one platform so that there's accountability, transparency, um, and it's about a culture, really, so that we work collaboratively because that's something that the industry lacks in certain areas. BIM is really about coordinated information. The 3D is important, but the most important thing is the reliable data. They also get much clearer information about what's gone into the building so that they can plan its maintenance and also plan the life cycle replacement and the overall operation of the facility in the, in the future. So the, the risks that BIM can avoid, having good building information management from early on in the cycle will tell every housing association what they have in their buildings and no housing association can honestly say that they know where all of their critical components are. And that's something that really needs to change. We have risks arising from things that are required to be maintained for compliance. The things that we're not maintaining well enough that are causing costs downstream of, with responsive repairs that could have been avoided. And those are the, the, some of the really important things that I think BIM can, uh, some of the issues that BIM can address.